big story live at six. Brendan Dassey's brother Brad speaking out tonight saying he believes Brendan is innocent in the murder of Teresa Halbach. NBC 26's Alex Hagan sat down with him today for a one on one interview. He joins us live at six with Brad's reaction to the case and the documentary. Brad Dassey says Brendan is both a quiet and shy person, and there's no way he could have been involved in Teresa Halbach's murder. Injustice slammed in the face. Brad Dassey wants people to people. know they didn't do it. They didn't do it. No. Through a new Come rap track, they didn't do it. Foolish. It's a support a song. It was just a joke. Someone Cops told me it's more like a victory song for when he gets out of prison. Cops were only there just to prod and poke. Not a fair trial. Not a fair game. Dassey released the song following the release of the Netflix documentary Making a Murderer. He's confident Brendan will get out of prison. Someone's going to come forward that knows the legal system in and out, and they're going to really help us out. Dassey believes his brother is innocent. I think he was treated like a little puppy dog. Well, tell us what we want to hear, Brendan. Come Remember, on. Remember, we already know. He points towards the interrogation on March 1st, 2006. That's the frustrating part. He sat there so defenseless. He also calls Brendan's confession strange, saying his brother was coerced into making it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, because the whole thing doesn't make sense. Brad has visited Brendan several times behind bars. His father, Pete, goes every week. Dassey says he's floored by Brendan's demeanor in prison. He's in good spirits. He thinks something good is going to come out, and uh, he can't wait to... Uh, get out and watch WrestleMania. Not a fair trial, not a fair game. Whole things for now. Brad can only wait, Innocent. spread his message, and see what happens. People upset, just a bad bet. <laughs> now, yesterday we told you about legislation in Tennessee requiring a parent or attorney to be present for interrogations. Brad Dassey agrees that should be the case across the country. I'm Alex Hagan with NBC 26.